Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Kruskal's algorithm for MSTs, or minimal spanning trees. Kruskal's algorithm is going to give us a method or a procedure for finding a minimal spanning tree, so a graph that hits all of your vertices with no circuits and has the lowest total weight possible. All right, so first step, easy peasy, choose the cheapest edge, so the smallest weight and mark that. That's the first edge of your spanning tree. And then step two, you choose the remaining edge that's the next cheapest, as long as it doesn't create a circuit. So essentially, you just keep marking the cheapest edge until you've reached a spanning tree. And remember, if you have n vertices, you're going to keep going until you've chosen n minus 1 edges. All right, it's sort of easier to see this marked out in an example. So let's go ahead and work on one together. Okay, so we want to find a minimal spanning tree and its total weight. Okay, so we've got several weights here. So we have 205, 185. We want to go through and pick the lowest one, which is 165. That's this edge here. So we're going to mark that one. Okay, and let's go ahead and keep track of our total weights. And let's go ahead and label our vertices here to make our lives a little easier. So we want edge CE, and it's got weight 165. And now we want, out of the remaining edges, the one that's cheapest, that doesn't create a circuit. Okay, and that looks like it is from A to D with weight 185. And you might notice these edges don't even connect up. They cross, but they don't connect at vertices. That doesn't matter. We're going to end up with something that connects up and is a spanning tree. So let's go ahead and keep going. Okay, so we want the next smallest weight. Let's see, we've got 205, but it looks like 200 is going to be the next cheapest one from A to C. So let's go ahead and mark that one with weight 200. And keep in mind, this edge does not create a circuit. What matters for circuits is the vertices and not where the edges cross. So this isn't a circuit because if we start here at E, follow these edges around, we don't end up back where we started. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep going because we still haven't hit this vertex B. So whatever edge we choose next has got to hit B. All right, so the next cheapest edge is 205, but if we mark 205, that would make a circuit here, so we can't use that edge. Okay, but let's see, so 205 isn't gonna work, and then there's a jump up next, so 340, 302, but 302 would again connect these up and make a circuit, so we can't use 302. Um, but we can use 305, and we'll notice the one we ended up being able to use connected with B like it was supposed to. Edge BC with weight 305. And now we started off with five vertices, and now we've picked one, two, three, four edges. So we've hit every vertex, but we have no circuits. So here's our minimal spanning tree, our MST. And to find its total weight, well, all we do is add these all together. And what we're going to get when we add them all together is 855 for the total weight. All right. Kruskal's algorithm says it's for finding MSTs, but we can also use it to find maximal spanning trees by just reversing it. Instead of picking the cheapest edge, you pick the most expensive edge. And that is what we're going to do in this example. So we'll notice it's the same graph that we just dealt with, but this time, instead of picking cheapest, we are going to pick most expensive. 
All right, so which one is our most expensive edge? Okay, well, it looks like 500 is our most expensive. And again, let's label our vertices to make our lives easier. Edge AB has weight 500. Okay, and now what is the next most expensive edge? Well, we don't want any of these 205, 185, 340, it looks like 360. Edge BD with weight 360. So let's go ahead and highlight that edge. And let's see, 340, the edge from B to E. If we mark that one, it doesn't create a circuit. So B to E, 340. And now we'll notice you wanna pick the most expensive one that doesn't create a circuit. And that means it's gonna have to hit vertex C. Vertex C is the only vertex that hasn't been spanned yet. So most expensive edge remaining looks like 320, which does hit C and does not create a circuit. So now notice five vertices means we have four edges in any spanning tree, and in particular in this maximal spanning tree. And let's go ahead and add this up to get the total weight. And we add that up and we get 1,520 as our total weight for this maximal spanning tree. And that is it for today.